Lahore Grammar School Koita lesson by Pfizer Shah for grade 7 component is language art and the topic is adjectives. What do we know about adjectives? Let's see. Adjectives are words that describe or modify other words, making your writing and speaking much more specific and a whole lot more interesting. Words like small, blue and sharp are descriptive and they are all examples of adjectives. Because adjectives are used to identify or quantify individual people and unique things, they are usually positioned before the noun or pronoun that they modify. Some sentences contain multiple adjectives, types of adjectives. Remember that, the, uh, that adjectives can modify as well as describe other words and you will find it much easier to identify different types of adjectives when you see them. Articles. There are only three articles and all of them are adjectives A, AN, and D because they are used to discuss non-specific things and people A and AN are called indefinite articles. For example, I'd like A, let's go on AN. Neither one of these sentences names a specific banana or a certain adventure. Without more clarification, uh, any banana or adventure will do. The word the is called the definite article. It is the only definite article and it is used to indicate very specific people or things. Please give me a banana. Now a here is the article that is indefinite. However, I like the, I like the one with the green stem. The one, the green stem. So here, well, the italic show you, shows you where the uh, definite, um, uh, definite article is. Let's go on an adventure. The Grand Canyon mule ride sounds perfect. Starting off with the uh, types of adjectives. Number one, possessive adjectives. As the name indicates, possessive adjectives are used to indicate possession. They are my, your, his, her, its, our, their. Possessive adjectives also function as possessive pronouns. Coordinate adjectives. Coordinate adjectives are separate with commas or the word and uh, and appear one after another to modify the same noun. The adjectives in the phrase bright, sunny day and long and dark night are coordinate adjectives. In phrases with more than two coordinate adjectives, the word and always appear before the last one. For example, the sign had big, bold, and bright letters. Be careful because some adjectives uh, that appear in a series are not coordinate. In the phrase green del delivery truck, the words green and delivery are not separated by a comma because green modifies the phrase delivery truck. To eliminate confusion when determining whether a pair or group of adjectives is coordinate just insert the word and between and between them um, if and works then the adjectives are coordinate and need to be separated with a comma number adjectives when they're used in sentences numbers are almost always adjectives you can tell that number is an adjective when it answers the question how many the stagecoach was pulled by a team of six he ate 23 hot dogs during the contest and was sick afterwards. Interrogative adjectives. There are three interrogative adjectives. Which, what, and whose. Like all other types of adjectives, interrogative adjectives modify nouns. As you probably know, all three of these words are used to ask questions. Which option sounds best to you? What time should we go? Whose socks are those? Indefinite adjectives. Like the articles A and AN, indefinite, indefinite adjectives are used to discuss non-specific things. You might recognize them, recognize them since they are formed from indefinite pronouns. The most common indefinite adjectives are any, many, so, uh, sorry, no, several, and few. Do you have any peanut butter? Grandfather has many retired for many, many years. There are no bananas in the fruit bowl. I usually read the first few pages of a book before I buy it. We looked at several cars before deciding on the best one for our family. Attributive adjectives. Attributive adjectives talk about specific traits, qualities, or features. In other words, they are used to discuss attributes. There are different kinds of attributive adjectives. 
observation uh, adjectives such as real, perfect, best, interesting, beautiful, or cheapest can indicate value or talk uh, about subjective measures. Size and shape adjectives talk about measurable objective qualities, including specific physical properties. Some, ex uh, for example, I have a few examples here. Uh, small, large, square, round, poor, wealthy, slow, and fast. Um, age adjectives denote uh, specific ages in numbers as well as general ages. Examples are old, young, new, five-year-old, and so on. Color adjectives are exactly what they sound like. They are adjectives uh, that indicate color. Examples are pink, yellow, blue, and so on. Origin adjectives indicate the source of the noun, whether it's a person, place, animal, or thing. Examples include American, Canadian, Mexican, French, or British. Material adjectives uh, denote what something is made up of. Some examples include cotton, gold, wood, and so on. Qualify adjectives are often regarded as part of a noun. They make nouns more specific. Examples include log cabin, luxury car, and pillow cover. So I have an exercise here that you need to uh, complete. Uh, find the adjective or adjectives that fit in each of the blanks best. We visited, we visited the museum where we saw dash artifacts. Uh, a lot of ancient johns a room filled with. I received dash awards at the ceremony today. The managers to information about motivation at the Please get me a bag of dash apples, interesting red ripe uh, uh, oranges and real. The president sat in a dash chair, important barbers, funny leather. Dash weather is the norm in San Francisco. Blue, uh, big, foggy, the best. Well, guys, um, thank you so much for your time. I hope that you submit your uh, uh, your homework soon for me to check if you understand the topic adjective. Stay home, stay safe, take care.